everybody. Today we're looking at the dynamic tip condenser. Oops, gotta wear these glasses. All right, PPE is important. So this program is really cool because, you know, when you're done with the Hamilton program, uh, some of your tips could look like this. Where there's like parts left. So rather than putting them back yourself or throwing them away, we can do it automatically. And this program is really cool because it's a dynamic one. Check it out. All right. So here we have time to condense tips. I will select the number of carriers. So we only have one carrier for these 1,000 tips. And the dynamic part is the track start. We're gonna go ahead and change this number to track 19 because, take a look over here. That first carrier, Track 19. Let's change it to 19. Here we go. Okay, now that that's done, time to hit that one. Oh, it's not a touch screen. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get there. For now, we're gonna have to click 1000. Now we have the next interface. And this is because some layoffs, at least in our lab, have these tip inserts. And you don't want the tips to be put into those inserts. You want to skip those positions. So, like this deck has it. Note says the second carrier. Let's take a look. First carrier, second carrier. It's got two of those black inserts. So we don't want to put tips in there. Okay, but it doesn't matter for this run because we're only running one carrier. So let's. Go ahead and put, yes there is, just so we can see the interface. And skip those positions. And it's a load interface, so it tells you which track to start with. Place one carrier there, and then, oh look, those numbers, those change. Increments by six, because that's the width of the track. Flashing which one you should load, and that black box, that's gonna say, if we had to load two or more carriers, we would skip those positions. Okay, only 1,000 tips. Let's do it. Look at that. So there's the offset. It will offset every single rack that it has to run through. So that part's easy. So it's going to pick up the tips and put them back in a sequential order. Now watch this. Using the auto recovery function. So skip in the positions that are blank. Once it finds eight tips, or it runs out of locations, it's gonna put the remainder tips, or eight tips, into the next available position, which is column three over here. Let's take a closer look. Okay, it's gonna get interesting when it gets down to these ones. Because it can pull all those together into an organized fashion, which will look like this. All right, this is only for eight channels. If you have a system with more than eight channels, you have random access restriction. So you can't access the back with the front tips and the front with the back, it just won't work. You have to edit the sequences. Now the reason why it works in a Hamilton system is because the tip technology employs O-rings. The O-rings don't compromise the integrity of the seal. Like I can see there's no more tips here. It's still tracking those two. It's got six tips over there. Now it's all done. With the remainder in the last available spot. And it's complete. Hooray! Let's check it out. That looks good over there. Full set of tips. Fantastic. Now 
excited to see how this works. Hopefully you can enjoy it. Feel free to ask me questions. And uh, I guess I think we're done. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.